We're hoping stormy weather doesn't get in the way of Rivercade festivities. Tim Seaman is serving his last year as Rivercade Port Admiral, and he joins us live along the parade routes. Are folks getting ready for that possibility of rain, Tim? Yeah, indeed they are, Jen, and they're getting ready with an umbrella in one hand and a big smile on their face because it's parade night here for Rivercade. It's great downtown right now, but still very sunny here in downtown Sioux City. Some spotty clouds and warm, breezy, but we know what could be coming later, so folks uh, need to take some preparations as the parade will roll, rain or sun. If there's not severe weather with lightning, the parade will roll tonight, so make sure you come dressed accordingly. Should be a good one, and it's such a center spot for this Rivercade festivities. The parade is really what uh, folks get excited for and why not look back over the years and you look at what this parade has looked like. It has been a, a spectacular two-hour event with hundreds of floats and different types of uh, marching events all taking part uh, to fill the streets. And for those that are in the parade each year, it is uh, uh, a chance to get out and to uh, really uh, show off their wares, but uh, intergage, uh, connect with the community and let folks know a little bit more about them. It's a summer pastime for so many different business, civic, and educational groups. Uh, Ray Thomas joins me from Winnipeg Vegas right now to talk about that. And Ray, how many of these do you get out to each year? We get about nine of these every year. Uh, we try to try to get through the, out to the community and kind of spread the word that we're there. So, do you find uh, it's got? I know when I've been in parades, to see the smiles on kids' faces and whatnot just makes it all worthwhile. I'm just curious what you take out of this. Well, that's our biggest thing to see the smiles out here on, those, on their faces. Uh, just to hear them say, you know, hey, give me some candy, T-shirts. Yep, yep. So. Okay, the, the question of the day, though, and I don't have the answer yet, is, and that is, do these slots work during the parade? Because, uh, you know, somebody could detour here very easily. Well, well unfortunately, they're, they're not. They're just kind of fake uh, slot machines, but we do have some down at casinos, so. Uh, all right, well, we'll, uh, we'll uh, take our chances at some point, I guess. But have fun tonight, all right? All right, thank you. You bet. Ray Thomas from uh, Winnipeg. Vegas. just one of the uh, dozens of floats that will be here tonight. And right now, again, Jenna, the weather conditions are uh, what we would like. It's uh, not 90 degrees, and that is something different for Rivercade night. The breeze actually is quite pleasant. We'll just hope the rain stays away long enough that we can get this parade in. Joining me at 6, you'll want to be with us uh, if you're not able to get down to the parade as the parade grand marshal, retired Admiral Frank Thorpe will join me. He, of course, is leading the commissioning of the USS Sioux City. We'll hear his comments and get his reaction to Siouxland. You know, he's excited to lead off this parade coming up at 630. For now, Downtown Live, Tim Seaman, KCAU 9 News.